In this experiment, we will review the nucleophilic substitution reactions, SN1 and SN2, of some alkyl halides. The goal is to perform the SN1 and SN2 reactions using some alkyl halides, and then evaluate their reactivities based on their structures, leaving groups, and reaction conditions. Nucleophilic substitution reaction is the reaction of an electron donor, nucleophile, with an electrophile, an electron pair acceptor. The electrophile being replaced, or substituted is called, a leaving group. In this experiment, we will look at two different pathways of nucleophilic substitution reaction, SN1 and SN2 reactions. SN1, is a unimolecular reaction which means only one substituent controls the reaction rate. While SN2, required two substituents or bimolecular. Let's look at SN1 reaction characteristics. In the SN1 reaction, the leaving group leave and carbocation is formed. This step is the rate determining step. Only one substituent control this step. A stable carbocation compound will prefer this reaction. The nucleophile is later replacing the leaving group by attacking the carbocation. Since the carbocation is planar, two possible products are formed in this reaction, a racemic. In the SN2 reaction, the rate determining step is when the nucleophile attacking the substrate, right from the backside of the leaving group. Instead of carbocation intermediate as an SN1 reaction, this reaction is going through a transition state. Since the nucleophile attack from the backside of the leaving group, the stereoisomer of the product is inverted from the initial substrate. In SN1 reaction, a polar protic solvent is preferred, because the polar protic solvent can stabilize the ions of the intermediate. While a polar A product solvent is preferred for SN2 reaction, polar protic solvent will stabilize the nucleophile, which is a disadvantage for SN2 reaction. The example of polar protic solvent is water and ethanol. The example of polar A product solvent is acetone. In his experiment, the reagent for the SN1 reaction is silver nitrate and ethanol. This reagent is perfect for SN1 reaction because nitrate is a poor nucleophile, so little chance for the SN2 reaction to happen, where a good nucleophile is necessary. The solvent, ethanol, is a polar protic solvent. In the reaction, the alkyl halides form the carbocation. Since nitrate is a poor nucleophile, the ethanol is acting as the nucleophile. The ethanol attack the carbocation and yield an ether as the product. The byproduct of this reaction is the formation of silver halide. The silver halide is insoluble in ethanol which precipitate as white solid. Therefore, if the alkyl halide reacts under this condition, a white precipitate byproduct should be formed. For the SN2 reaction experiment, the reagent used is sodium iodide in acetone. This reagent is perfect for SN2 reaction, because iodide anion is a good nucleophile that is necessary for SN2 reaction, and acetone is a polar A product solvent. In the reaction, the iodide anion replacing the halogens, chloride or bromide leaving group, and yield the alkyl iodo product. The byproduct of sodium halide salt is also formed. The salt is insoluble in acetone which precipitates as white solid. Therefore, if the alkyl halide reacts under this condition, a white precipitate byproduct should be formed. These are the nine alkyl halides that we will test in this experiment. A primary, secondary, and tertiary, chloro and bromoalkyl halide, crocodyl bromide, bromobenzene, and benzyl bromide. To perform the reaction, we will mix 2 milliliters of the reagent and 4 drops of the alkyl halides in the test tubes. Mix well and observe if the precipitate formed and record the time needed for the precipitate to form. If no precipitate form at room temperature, the test tube is immersed into a hot water bath and then observed for the precipitate again after heated. The hot water bath for SN1 reaction is 50 degrees Celsius and 80 degrees Celsius for SN2 reaction. Depend on the time and temperature needed for the reaction, we can categorize the reactivity of the alkyl halide into three categories. It's reactive, if precipitate formed within a few minutes at room temperature. A moderate reactive is one that precipitate formed after the reaction is heated in the hot water bath. 
Unreactive is when no precipitate is formed after heated in hot water bath. During the reaction, we will observe the precipitate formed. The precipitate formed is indicating the reaction happened. The observation can be cloudy, milky or heavy precipitate. At the end of the experiment, we will be able to compare the reactivities of different alkyl halides based on the type of substrate, leaving group, and the effect of the molecule's structure. The data obtained can be used to determine which alkyl halides react better in SN1 and SN2 reactions.